Now it may be well known that the gold and platinum and other precious metal jewelry that we wear comes from mines across the globe, right? But an announcement was just made about a major discovery that proves how the universe creates these metals to begin with. Syracuse University professor Duncan Brown is here to explain what we now know and what this actually means for our future. Duncan, thank you so much for being with us. Hi there. All right, well, break it down for us. What was this major discovery? Okay, so let me explain what happened. So on August 17th, a uh, ripple in the fabric of space itself, what we call a gravitational wave, passed through our planet. And that was detected by the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, uh, two detectors here in the US, and by the uh, European Virgo detector in Italy. And so these detectors sense ripples in the fabric of space-time that are caused by colliding neutron star systems. And a couple of seconds later, NASA's Fermi satellite detected a flash of gamma rays. And putting this information together, uh, scientists realized that what we'd seen was the collision of two neutron stars, two city-sized atomic nuclei smashing into each other at one-third the speed of light. Well, like you said, this was a, a major announcement, a major discovery, uh, something that we didn't know before. But taking this huge thing that you're talking about, how does that affect us or maybe future uh, things that will, you know, that now we know this information, what will that mean? So by uh, detecting the gravitational waves, we figured out where on the sky uh, these neutron stars were when they collided. And we were able to point telescopes uh, at uh, the collision from the Hubble Space Telescope in space to telescopes on the ground. And the light that we saw from this collision, astronomers put these pieces together like a detective story. And that's how we figured out that uh, we were seeing the creation of gold and platinum in these heavy elements. So we now know the answer to something that uh, humans have wondered about for thousands of years, which is how do you turn matter into gold? And now we know this is how the universe turns matter into gold. So what was it like to be a part of that discovery, to be a part of uh, something like you said that we've been wondering for all this time? It was uh, incredible to be part of this. I feel very privileged to be part of the team that made the discovery. This is the work of over 3,000 scientists from across the globe. Um, this is a discovery that has been many decades in the making. Uh, thousands of people participated in making this happen, but not just the scientists involved, also the, the general public. These NASA and National Science Foundation observatories are funded by the US taxpayer um, and taxpayers in countries around the world. And so this discovery really belongs to all of us. When scientists make these discoveries that advance human knowledge, our knowledge of where we came from and where we're going, they're discoveries that belong to everybody. Well, Duncan, not to pop your bubble of excitement uh, from this recent announcement, uh, but do you already know what you guys are going to be looking for next in the universe? So gravitational wave astronomy is really just at the beginning. If you think 400 years ago, Galileo was just pointing his first telescopes at the sky. And for hundreds of years, we've been discovering amazing things about the universe. That's where we are with gravitational waves. We're just starting to explore the universe with gravitational waves. We can see into the cause of exploding stars. Um, we can see black holes colliding, these neutron stars colliding. And maybe one day, if we get sensitive enough detectors, we might be able to see all the way back to the beginning of the universe universe and see the first moments of creation using gravitational waves and learn about how the universe itself began. Well, Duncan, I can't wait to talk to you again and see when the next big uh, announcement and discovery is made. Thank you so much for uh, talking with us. Thank you. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend, we'll be right back.